Welcome back to our channel. If you are a business owner looking to develop a mobile application or a developer searching for the best framework, this video is for you. Today, we'll be discussing Lynx.js, a rising mobile app development framework, and comparing it with two of the most popular frameworks in the industry, Flutter and React Native. Many businesses struggle with choosing the right platform for their app development. Should you go with the well-established Flutter? Should you choose React Native because of its JavaScript ecosystem? Or should you try out the new and promising Lynx.js? By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of which framework suits your business needs the best. Stay with us till the end, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more tech insights. Let's begin. Why mobile app development is crucial for businesses. Before diving into the comparison, let's quickly understand why mobile applications are a must for modern businesses. Today, almost everyone has a smartphone. In India alone, we have around 1 billion smartphone users, and mobile app usage is increasing rapidly. Customers now prefer using mobile apps over websites because they are faster, more interactive, and more convenient. If you run a business, whether it's a retail store, food delivery service, healthcare service, or even an educational platform, having a mobile app can significantly boost your revenue and customer engagement. But here's the challenge. How do you build a mobile app efficiently? Developing separate apps for Android and iOS takes more time, effort, and money. That's why businesses now prefer cross-platform frameworks that allow them to develop an app once and run it on multiple platforms. And this brings us to our main discussion, Lynx.js, Flutter, and React Native. Introduction to Lynx.js. Let's start with Lynx.js, a new but powerful cross-platform framework developed by ByteDance, the parent company of TikTok. Lynx.js allows developers to build high-performance mobile applications using web technologies like JavaScript and CSS. Unlike traditional hybrid frameworks, it offers native performance and is optimized for speed. Key benefits of Lynx.js, faster development. Since Lynx.js supports JavaScript and CSS, businesses that already have a website can easily transition to mobile apps. Cross-platform compatibility, it works on Android, iOS, and web, meaning you write code once and deploy it everywhere. Better UI performance, it has a dual-thread rendering system, which improves animations, UI smoothness, and app launch time. ByteDance is already using Lynx.js to power features like TikTok search, shopping, and live streaming, proving that it's a scalable and high-performance framework. Now that we know about Lynx.js, let's see how it compares with Flutter and React Native. Comparing Lynx.js, Flutter, and React Native. Let's start with development speed and ease of use. If you already have a web application, Lynx.js is an excellent choice because it allows web developers to build mobile apps quickly without learning new languages. React Native is also beginner-friendly since it is based on JavaScript, which is widely used by developers. Flutter, on the other hand, requires learning Dart, which has a steeper learning curve compared to JavaScript. So if speed and ease of development are your priority, Lynx.js and React Native are better options than Flutter. Now let's talk about performance and speed. Performance is one of the most critical aspects when choosing a mobile development framework. Lynx.js uses a multi-threaded rendering engine, which ensures that apps load quickly and run smoothly. Flutter provides excellent performance because it uses a custom rendering engine that gives apps a native-like feel with smooth animations. React Native, however, depends on native bridges, which can slow down performance for complex applications. If your focus is on pure speed and smoothness, Flutter and Lynx.js are the better choices. Now next, let's talk about community support and ecosystem. When choosing a framework, you must also consider community support and available resources. React Native has been around since 2015 and has a huge developer community with thousands of plugins and libraries. Flutter, backed by Google, is also rapidly growing and has strong community support. Lynx.js is relatively new and its community is still growing. However, 
Since ByteDance is backing it, it is expected to expand rapidly in the coming years. Now the big question, which framework is best for your business? If you have a web application and want a quick transition to mobile, Lynx.js is your best bet. If you want pixel-perfect design and the best UI performance, Flutter is the winner. If you need an app that integrates well with JavaScript libraries, go with React Native. Each framework has its strengths, and the best choice depends on your specific business needs. Real-world examples and case studies. Let's look at some real-world businesses using these frameworks. Lynx.js is used by TikTok for features like search, shopping, and live streaming. React Native powers Instagram, Facebook, and Walmart due to its strong JavaScript ecosystem. Flutter is used by Alibaba, BMW, and Google Pay thanks to its superior UI capabilities. As you can see, all three frameworks are trusted by global companies, proving that they are reliable choices for mobile app development. Final recommendation and conclusion. So, what's our final recommendation? If you want a fast, lightweight, and easy to learn framework, Lynx.js is an excellent choice. If you need the best UI performance with stunning animations, Flutter is the best option. If your business relies heavily on JavaScript and existing web technologies, React Native is a solid choice. Choosing the right framework, it is not just a technical decision, it's a strategic move that shapes your entire product journey. Not sure where to start or need expert help with mobile app development? Contact us at contact at tectos.com. We're here to guide you every step of the way. And before you leave, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth tech content. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.